Hi guys, my name is Jeremy KL70C. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please think about hitting up subscribe button and follow me on all of my Alaska adventures. Ham radio, portable operations, doing parks on the air mostly. I'm just having fun traveling the state, going to different parks, setting up portable operations and seeing how many contacts I can make inside that park. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. So the last two weeks have been a little challenging for me. I've had a lot of work things going on. I had to travel to Portland, Oregon this past week uh, for a sales class uh, that was put on by Linux. I am in the HVAC trade and I'm an estimator for the company I work for. That was pretty cool. I was able to meet uh, Charlie, W7RTA. Uh, I was able to get out and do a pull activation. I didn't record any of the activation. Um, not, not all times I'll record every single activation. Um, it's, it's good to just get out and have, not have to worry about setting up the cameras and, and all that good stuff. So so back to week three and four. And I apologize again that, uh, that this video was kind of late for week three and four. Uh, but I decided to put them together. So still doing the Morse Ninja uh, every single day. I take that back. I've kind of missed a couple days um, just because of the work schedule. I, I, I try every time that... I have to drive into Anchorage uh, because it's about an hour commute for me to listen to Morse Ninja on the way there, listen to it on the way back. Um, but but sometimes it's it, it's not feasible for me either. I'm on the phone with a customer or talking to uh, one of our installers or something of that nature. So it doesn't always work out, but at the least I still try to do some form of Morse code in a day, whether it be um, looking at uh, license plate like we talked about before kind of banging off those license plate numbers and letters in cw so at this point i know all the letters i know all the numbers um of course the question mark the period and some of the punctuation um i haven't really gotten into as far as sending it i can send it all day long um, i still have a little trouble with copying i'm still learning that the cw morse ninja the videos that are copying at that 20 words per minute and uh, i'm doing fairly well except for when they go in and do the call signs um, that that spacing is is just not there so you really have to pay attention but what really gets me he'll give off a call sign and then on the back side he'll say the call sign again and then okay so i know what it is and then as soon as i hear the the morse code after that i'm like how in the world did i not get that i, I know it but it, it's just it's just you have to train your brain to uh, think a little quicker and that's one of those things where you still you have to practice it over and over and over so they say it takes 21 days of doing something um, constant every single day for you to be able to pick up that habit that's what you have to do that's what I'm having to do is, is keep doing this over and over and over it, it, it might be repetitive or it might sound repetitive and kind of get burnt out on it but uh, try, try to mix it up and and do it that way so it's uh, so it doesn't feel really feel repetitive, but you're still getting the you're still learning. You're still putting that time towards that 21 days to to come up with a good habit. So change it up a little bit. So I had a three and a half hour flight to Portland, almost a four hour flight back to Anchorage uh, because of we had a, a tremendous headwind and uh, some some pretty good turbulence too. But um, but yeah, I had the, the AirPods. I downloaded uh, CW Morse Ninja, that one particular video that, uh, that it goes through and all the letters and all the numbers. And uh, that, that's what I listened to, the whole flight down and the whole flight back. And um, that, that it really helps. I'm telling you, it really helps. So I did bring the uh, TX500 with me as well as the buddy pole and a three amp hour bono battery that was in my carry-on and uh, I didn't get to use the buddy pole I did uh, when I had time in in the hotel room uh, I did play around with the key a little um, I did end up getting a new key for the uh, for the TX500 it's not specific for the TX500 but that's the uh, CP4 the Poda Soto paddle um, and I can leave a link in the description below if you want to check that out it's pretty cool um, I like the paddle on the TX500, but it, because it's mounted to the to the rig itself, 
it's kind of hard to kind of lay back in the chair, have your radio somewhere, and you can kind of just relax. And and with SP4, you can just sit back in the chair, relax somewhere, and just practice sitting Morse code, but without having the radio right next to you and kind of messing you up. But but yeah, I think I'm ready to start hunting. And uh, I tried it a couple times. Um, one was in uh, Portland, or in, I was actually in Clackamas, Oregon. But uh, the hotel I was staying at, this was my uh, second day. I just got out of class and I was getting ready to pack up because I was leaving. We had class the third day and then I jumped on the plane that night to come back to Anchorage. Um, but I really wanted to see if I can do some hunting. So um, I was bored. I had the buddy pole or the buddy stick or other uh, with me. And I was like, I wonder if I could set it up in the room. So I did. I, I set it up in the room uh, and uh, I was able to, the antenna itself is taller than uh, the height of the room. Um, so what I had to do is ended up taking all the legs out from the tripod itself except for one and then shorten the whip just a, a hair um, and I just made up by that by extending uh, the, the coil essentially. I, I just didn't think it was going to work. Um, but, it, uh, but it did. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, I, I didn't really have anything to to hook the radio to, to kind of get it off the ground. So I kind of uh, well, just laid it on the ground, wound out the radio uh, for 20 meters. It was just laying on the ground. I was like, there's no way in heck this thing's going to tune up. But, um, but yeah, it, it took me about less than, less than three minutes uh, doing a couple tweaks with the radio. And then I had like a, a 1.55, 1.56, something like that, um, which was absolutely crazy. Um, so then I went on the POTUS spotting page, of course, there was nothing on, on 20 meters um, CW, so uh, I was kind of bummed out about that. None the least, uh, you know, putting up antennas, uh, it's, it's all about experimentation as far as I don't know how well it would have worked being inside the room, being in downtown Clackamas, uh, a lot of interference I would imagine. The, the noise level was a little high, but uh, but still, there was, uh, there was just nothing on. No CW POTA stations, so it's still a lot of fun. But I'm really looking forward to um, using what I learned and at least start hunting um, some CW POTA stations. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching. I thank you so much for following me on my CW journey. Um, I'm up to comments, criticism, anything that you guys think that could help me out or help somebody else out, um, please let us know. because. I'm always looking for that uh, for that one thing. Uh, but so far, it's been the CW Morris Ninja. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys check it out. Until next time, 7-3.